Hi, I'm Kylie of Kylie M Interiors, online paint color consultant and e-design expert. Today we're looking at Benjamin Moore Balboa Mist. Balboa Mist is a warm gray paint color. It's trying to be grayish, but it's just not quite warm enough. Now, when it comes to gray and grayish paint colors, we're dealing with undertones and you can't avoid them. We've got blue, green, and purple. You will not find green in Balboa Mist and you also won't find blue, but you will find purple. Now purple likes to do two things. It likes to go purple blue or it likes to go purple pink. Because this is a warm gray paint color, it's going to lean slightly purple pink. If you're nervous about pink undertones, just check it carefully. But generally speaking, it does commit more to that purple and the pink is a very, very minor byproduct of it. Now, if you do have overly creamy trim, that could enhance the undertones and give you a bit of that taupey purple pink look. So you want a pretty clean look with this. So if I'm choosing a white paint color for my trim, I'm probably going to look at Chantilly Lace. For me, that is just pure color magic. They sit so well together and Chantilly Lace lets Balboa Miss do what it just does naturally so well without over enhancing any of its undertones. Now, one of the best ways to pick a paint color, but especially grays and whites, is with comparison. So let's look at a few. So, we've got Collingwood. Collingwood is a little bit darker than Balboa Mist. There's something called LRV, light reflectance value, and every paint color has an LRV number on a scale of 0 to 100. 0 is black, 100 is white. Balboa Mist sits at 66. Collingwood sits at 62. So Collingwood with a slightly lower number is a slightly darker color. Now they're both in the light range. If you have a super bright room, the higher LRV you have, the more chance things are gonna wash out. So if you find Balboa Mist is washing out a bit, or you just want some more contrast with your trim or cabinets, Collingwood could be a good fit because it has a very similar warm gray profile. Let's also look at Classic Grey. Classic Grey is so popular, but it's actually an off-white. Now it has an LRV, I believe it's 74. So if you think that Balboa Mist has a little bit more depth than you wanted, you might want to bump up to Classic Grey, which again has very similar undertones. However, if you're finding Classic Grey is just a little too cold for you and you want a little bit more of that grayish taupe warmth, we're going to look at Benjamin Moore Pale Oak. This will also show you how passive the undertones are in a Balboa Mist. With that little bit more warmth and pale oak, you get a little bit more pink, and it shows you how pretty Balboa Mist is. If you want more warmth, you want more undertone, good choice. If you want a little bit more passive look, Balboa Mist could be the fit for you. And I really do have like video reviews and blog reviews on almost all of these colors to check out. So I do hope you'll visit me at my website, www.kyliemmanteriors.ca. I have over 300 articles, color reviews, update ideas, affordable decorating tips, and I've got a super search function. You can type in any keyword and you'll be reading for days. You might have also noticed I have this awesome sample here. This is from Sample Eyes peel and stick paint samples. You can move them around your room. They are literally half the price of traditional paint pots. And if you're in the States, they deliver to your front door in one to three business days. So thank you for watching and I hope you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel.